Hi everyone, it's Jeff from Mitosu Crafts. Thank you for joining me today for the Creating Kindness Design Team video help. Today I'm creating a unique frame using the negative space of a die cut. Check the description below to continue along the hop as well as the product links I've used today. These are the cardstock I use and you will find the measurements on our blog. My altered card base card mats and layers will fit perfectly within an A4 cardstock or a US letter size cardstock. I use the floral dies from Petals and More Thin Lids die set with the petal palette coordinating stamp as well as the country floral dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. I've gone ahead and stamped the flower design in Memento on normal whisper white and die cut with the coordinating dies so I can show you how I colored this image with the Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. So starting with the light Mango Melody blends, I used the brush tip and just covered the three flowers. I then used the dark Mango Melody to add depth and shadow onto the design. Continuing on, I use the light Granny Apple Green blends for the leaves using the brush tip end. The brush tip end just makes the coloring much faster as it covers a wider area of the paper. Finally, I use a dark Night of Navy blends to color the white edges around the design. As the image was stamped in Black Memento, it's quite forgiving if you go slightly over the lines but do take your time to ensure that all of the white areas have been colored with Night of Navy. When embossing the Knight of Navy cardstock, use the horizontal line as well as the right edge of the embossing folder to ensure that the cardstock is nice and straight. Use your Big Shot platform as well as one cutting plate to run this through your Big Shot as it is the dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. It is thicker than normal embossing folder. I'm now going to create the unique frame using the die. So using old olive cardstock and a normal sandwich for the big shot with a thin die adapter and two plates. Place the die along the left edge ensuring that there's an equal space on the top and at the bottom to create your frame. Run it through again Placing the die on the right hand side this time, again making sure that there's equal space on the top and at the bottom as well as on the right edge. To finish the frame, you can either cut through the middle part of the cardstock but I opted to use the die two more times so I, will, I made use of the die edge to complete my frame. Once happy with your frame, emboss it again with the same embossing folder using the horizontal line and the right edge as your guide. So hopefully both the Old Olive and Knight of Navy cardstock will have pretty much the same design uh, when placed on top of each other.
Once the big shot is out, die cut a gold glimmer paper with the trellis design from Petals and More Thin Lit Set. And after this die cut, you won't be needing the big shot anymore as we are done with embossing and die cutting and we will be concentrating on finishing up the other elements of the card. Using the Whisper White pigment ink and a sponge dover, I will add highlights to the embossed Knight of Navy cardstock. So lightly add ink to the dober by tapping it gently onto the ink pad and then applying the ink onto the cardstock again very lightly just touch it and spread the ink I always say you can add more but you can't take it off so it's easier to just keep adding until you're happy instead of initially just going full out and make a mess on your cardstock Leave aside to dry a little bit and we can stamp the sentiment on a soft sea foam off cut. So I'm using the thank you stamp and the knight of navy ink for this one and just gauge it to hopefully be in the center. But this one was slightly towards the top so I decided to snip along the bottom to make it a bit tighter onto, on the sentiment. Adding the gold glimmer element along the bottom of the sentiment, uh, you can use your final sentiment size to gauge how much of the gold glimmer paper you need and snip along the middle so you can use the top bit for another project. We can now make up the card, ensure to use a bone folder to burnish the spine of the card base. I use multi-purpose liquid glue for the back of the Knight of Navy cardstock just to give me enough wiggle room to make sure that there's equal space around the edge and it frames nicely onto the Smoky Slate card base. Place the old olive frame and use this as a guide to know where to stick down the colored flower die cuts. Add multi-purpose liquid glue at the back and then just hold the frame down and then insert the colored image. Press down a couple of seconds and to make sure that that's really stuck on and it won't move. To adhere the frame, I'm using foam adhesive strips which you can cut down to size and I'm cutting small bits to place along the inner edge of the frame where it's sticking out slightly and I can use a longer strip along the edge. These foam adhesive strips are also are great for shaker cards and to add extra height onto your project. Take off all the adhesive backing and then place on top of your card. Ensure it is the right way up by checking that the frame 
has got equal space along all four sides. To finish the card with sentiment, add foam adhesive strip half way to the right where it's going to be stuck down onto the Knight of Navy and add multi-purpose glue on towards the left where it will be stuck onto the old olive frame. And there you have it, creating a unique frame using a die cut for the Creating Kindness Design Team Video Hub with the theme of negative space. Which one do you prefer? The old olive frame or the whisper white frame? If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also check out the description below to continue along the video hub as well as links to the product of use today. Here are some other cards using the petal palette stamp set and the petals and more thinlet styles. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye!